Gallery time again. Let's have a look at your work. Oh, Tony, isn't this one lovely? Have a look at the crushed up tissue paper that's really, really tiny. And it's all put together really tightly to make the body of the bird and the butterfly and the flower. I think the background texture is so clever. It just brings everything together. It looks so much better than if it had just been left quite plain. This is very impressionistic, isn't it? Well, it is rather. This is the tiniest oil painting. Yes, it is an oil painting. And it's on that. It's like canvas, but it's paper, isn't it? It has oh, yeah. that texture. And so, of course, it can take oil paint. This is charming. Have you read the letter? Oh, I have. Isn't mm. it? It's to Emma's Nana, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's saying she's sending this to Heartbeat and hopes that Nana will be able to see it on the programme. Well, Nana jolly well has. Love this. It's such an economic little painting. Watercolour, tiny landscape, and I think there's a, a certain amount of spray in the green, and in the sky, the blue up there. Do keep sending in all your pictures. We love to see them. And here's the address. And if you didn't quite catch that now, we'll show it again at the end of the programme. I'm Heidi. Hello, hello, hello. Oh! Now, as our theme today is Impressions, we mustn't forget the Impressionists. They were a group of artists, mostly French, who wanted, in their painting, to contrive to make light and atmosphere and movement very powerful. And one of the really famous ones was a Frenchman called Monet. You've heard of him. Well, have a look at one of his pictures, because it'll show you exactly what I mean. He calls this picture impression sunrise and really there's very little if any detail in this picture at all just a little silhouette of the boat and a sort of harbor in a very nebulous background now have a look at another of his paintings more peaceful this one it's the river Seine and you can see straight away that it is in fact a mirror image and the reflections of, of the river and yet again no detail at all but the artist was showing us exactly what he meant us to feel there we are so i thought that i would now try and make a sort of impression picture not with oil paints but with pastels ready This particular colour is used very much by them. Now I'm going to have a darker colour here. Get a feel of darkness here and there. Especially down here. I want this to come down in curves. It will be very difficult for you to understand what I'm getting at until a bit later. Merge those colours there lovely coloured hills in the background. You see, no detail. Now, between these purpley darknesses here, something is happening. Some splendid greens merging here. He 
if I start to put something very dark here and make it lighter. Bring something forward like that. A little bit of pink, perhaps. We see a character, we see a character, and that makes all the difference because we've now got something that we understand. And if I merge this a bit more, and now get blobs of colour, and especially this colour, we can see that there is a little character there, and that there are places where people have walked in lines down through, through the corn. The brightest of the lot will be anything that's white. And perhaps just a little bit of white in the sky to make a difference between the blue and the clouds and the other general. Bits of colour. And there we are. An impression. Well, that's all the time we have, I'm afraid, but we will see you next time, won't we? Bye. Hey, right. what are you two doing here? You should be on the patio. Tony? Tony, not the patio!